Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk again about the OpenAI, Revit and the Speckle. So, uh, long story short, what we will do? We will get we will get the Revit model, we will transfer our model to the Speckle here and after that we will get all information from the Speckle to the our script which is will give us some basic information. Not the basic information like we did in previous one, like the upload date, the file name and number of elements. We wanna get some specific dates, for example how many elements of the category we have, how many uh, for example was deleted, how many was added. So today we will uh, touch this is topic because this is topic it's really much important for you for your daily work so if you are ready for this tutorial let's get started before we will go to the GPT chat, we need to get our data because we don't, don't have it, as you can see, nothing here. So what we will do, we will go to the to the, our model. For example, I will use some 3D view. It's better for me. Okay, here's my 3D view. After that, I will go to the uh, my uh, speckle. Here's my speckle. So, and I will use this 3D view actually. So the main, yes, main, let's use the uh, the branch, it will be main, everything. No, I don't wanna everything. I wanna use some view. View, as I said already, I wanna 3D. So you can use any other type of the settings, it's up to you. I'm doing what I want. So here I did like this and let's say it will be today. So it's today 14. Okay, so what I am gonna do next? Uh, let me, I will send it. I wanna send it. So I will send it and I will back when it will finish. So it's done. Let's go back to the uh, our browser, use the speckle. And as you can see, yes, by this date, we get some model. So let me check the 3D. I wanna see in 3D is everything all right. And as you can see, here is the my model. Uh, yeah, some texture is gone, but uh, we are not about the texture now talking. We are talking about the modeling and the information. So here we are, as you can see, everything working. What we're gonna do next? Next, I wanna check the my script. Is it working with this model or not? Let me check the stream ID and the commit ID. I need these two data where you can get it just go to the share and here you will see here is the stream id let me i will copy this stream id uh, you will have your own stream id when i will upload this video this stream not will be working so this is just a mention okay so here's my stream id let me copy it here and and then and, and i need the commit id so it's commit id it's here oh, it's, sometimes it's really hard to just copy it like Okay, so I done it and let me place here. So done, everything all right and let's start the script run the speckle and let's wait when we will get the result. So here we are, here is the my result, as you can see the date of update, so it's exactly uh, what I have right now on my uh, clock, right, yes. And as you can see the file name, actually it's not the file name, this is, as we know, this is actually the commit name, okay, it's not a problem, so here I already wrote it, if you can see. And the number of elements, good, we have the overall number of elements, perfect. So, but what if I will update the model? So, and from this point, it's starting to getting the problem. Let's say I will uh, delete uh, some element. For example, this wall. Just, I, I will delete it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's room now, it's not, not, not working good, but anyway. And I will delete this tree. Doesn't matter. Okay, so what the next? Next, I wanna send it, but I will use, for example, it will be on the next day. So, 15th of, uh, of the October. I will send them my data again and I will back when it was uh, when it was finished. So it's done as you can see. And let's go back to the our web service. What we can see here. So the main branches. I will use the branch main. Uh, now it will upload. And as you can see, another another model is here. And uh, how we can get it? Because if I will update now my the script, I not will see the another comment. I will see only this comment because we are we are straight. We are going to this only comment. And from this stage, we will use OpenAI GPT Chat. And now let's ask the GPT Chat uh, to help us get all the data from all commits in one branch. So as I said in one branch all these commits so here I'm just asking and the part of the my code like uh, i want to use speckle so I extract data from the all the commits from one branch so let's start asking the gpt chat let's wait it just uh, i will back when it will finish 
So what I can see already now, it's not using now the, as you can see here, the commits ID. So instead of that, we are just using the stream ID and uh, starting asking the stream ID, stream ID uh, what the type of the branch we have. This is really nice. And now it's time to copy our code. I'm not prefer delete the previous code. I will just comment it because uh, it's working. Why I should delete it? And let's uh, place it here the new code. And let's uh, start the our new code. Let's wait it. And maybe we so first data we get from the 15. Uh, it's still working as you can see. And the second one we get as you can see 14. So and as you can see, it's different numbers of the elements. Yes, we deleted the wall and we deleted the some rooms. And as you can see, it was deleted. And it's really perfect. Let me I will delete now only one element and we will see how it will be work. I deleted only one element as you can see. This is three. So and this is will be the next day, let's say 16. And let's send our information. I will back when it will finish. It's already done. Let's check it in the our mm, uh, speckle. As you can see, it's 16. Yes, it's here. And let's go back to the, our program. Let's start it again. Now we should get the three commits, like 14, 15, and 16. And let's see what we will get. So it's not taking the long time. So I will wait. Uh, already 16 is here. You can say it's already working. As you can see, it's starting from the end. And as you can see, 16 here, just one element different. Yes, awesome. And our first commit is here. We already get something interesting. We can, it's already different because we can make difference between two models just without any opening of the model. Now it's part much interesting because so we will go, first of all, we will go to the our model. And let's say we want to see only the difference uh, in some category. Let's say the walls. Yeah, we want to get the difference of the walls. How we can do that? And for this one, we again, we will use GPT chat, of course. And first of all, we need to check the name of the category. Let me I will select this uh, wall. I already selected. And here, is, as you can see, it's Revit wall. Uh, category walls okay so we have the category we have the name of the category so let me I will copy it and i will say okay working so here is the code as you can see but actually this is part of the code let's say you cannot you don't know how to update your code and say update code with this advice and let's wait again so here is the code, let me I will copy it. And for sure it's not will be working, but anyway, anyway we will try. Again, uh, I know one I actually corrupt this code. I will do like this. And sorry. Why is the like this? And here will be my new code. And let's start it. Let's start it and let's see what we will get. And here, as you can see, strange result. We have like zero elements of the wall. And it's really strange. Let's see why. Now we're going back to the GPT and let's say, ask again. We don't have this attribute, uh, I mean the walls. So what we will get now? So here the answer. Let me will copy. Uh, for sure it's not will be working again. But doesn't matter for us. We want to get final result. So we will spend time as much as we can. So here we are. Let's start it again. Let's wait. Again, it's zero elements, but it's not true. Let's think like that. Wrong. Uh, wrong. Let's find the why is like that. So here is again answer. And let's see, I think walls and uh, let's try it. Let's try it. Why not? So here's ju just the, the part of the code. Okay, uh, count the walls. We're starting from that one. So where's the count the walls? Count the walls. And let's replace only that one. And let's start. I don't want to bug the bugging. Sorry, it's my mistake. Start it again. Again, it says zero. So and uh, Let's check the resources. So that's why I think the rest. So here the code for checking the resources. Let me will copy the four commits. Let me will go back and here for the commit commits here. And let's start it again. And here we are. And as you can see, here's all the resources what we have inside. Let's let's try to find what we need actually. 
let's say I'll copy it and I'll say to the GPT uh, here is um, uh, here is and let's see what the GPT will say to us so let's uh, actually it's already hard to understand where is that and let's say uh, write the full code because actually really it's hard to understand where you should replace what here is the code and let's try it so let's try it it should be give us some result i hope so because we already spent um, quite long time let me start it and oh, it's working yes we deleted the one wall and as you can see yes it's working also awesome. so what we need we actually now no need uh, the upload the data yes full name yes uh, number of elements and this all things we need uh, we no need this one let me uh, elements not found I will save and I will just committed this one things we will just pass so because we can we cannot live without anything we will just say pass let me try one more time so here is the commit id upload file name number of the all elements and elements of the wall nice and if you are not believe it's working or not let me will delete some two walls here i will delete the walls or why we should delete we can add the walls let me will place one wall here here actually it's wall <laughs> and let me place some standard wall something like this it's not about now how it looks nice as you can see it's really strange because i'm drawing not on the on on right place but it's okay so it's not about that so let me will do the 17 and let's send our data again to the speckle we already sent it our data and let's do one more time uh, let's start our plugin again here's the result of uh, 184 uh, 179 and again 179 should be let's see 79 and 180 80 yeah so as you can see it's working now we created a really useful thing yes you can again create the web uh, web page by html or something like that to the visualize your uh, data but uh, it's already about the how it looks like but about the working thing this uh, script it's already working so you can uh, take this script and use in your own for example the speckle uh, speckle data in the next tutorial we will continue work with this code and we will create the database because we now have all data but when once we will have more and more data we should have somewhere it's save it so the best way we will uh, we should save it local by database maybe we will use the SQLite let's see on the next time so for today it's finished if you want to download this code you can go to the my uh, to the my github and find here the repository uh, speckle and ai so i will update all the code here uh, the link you will find below this video so for today it's finished thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to share like this video and comment if you have the, some idea thank you for watching and see you next time